Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So in this video we would be learning more com uh, more things about your lightning web components. So in today's video we would be understanding your lightning data table. So with this we would start our video and um, I hope that in the previous videos you understood the concepts that were told by me and if you find anything that uh, uh, corresponds to you and you think that uh, uh, it is difficult to understand you could comment down below uh, we would be happy to solve your doubt and moving further on this journey to your lightning web component series uh, we would be working on your lightning data table so for this what we are doing is guys see uh, we used this account pub sub class we created for our pub sub uh, model so we would be making use of this get account information but before moving to that we would want to understand that what is a lightning data table so a data table is a thing that displays your data in the form of rows and columns that is the meaning of your lightning data table and that is predefined uh, by our salesforce only so this is a low code approach and uh, it provides greater yields so yeah it is a better suited way if we want to perform various operations and in the coming videos we would be deep diving into the concepts as well so for today we would be understanding from just a beginner point of view so let's get started then guys so i have created a component with the name lightning data table and how to create this component is create a lightning web component and name this component okay and for the class i am using this class only so what i would be doing is uh, copying this and wiring this in my uh, lightning web components so import from and we have uh, wired this so uh, the basic structure of your data table or how your data table looks is guys so let me explain you uh, so you put it LBC data table see everything is came but uh, I don't want this we would uh, be writing these things on our own okay so you would be doing lightning data table and come close this bracket and in this we are to uh, write or give some fields first field is the key field that uh, is the unique identifier this is your id field okay and second field is your data field that what data you wish to populate in here okay and the third field is the columns that what columns are to be populated in here uh, related to the data and uh, this all consists of your lightning data table so uh, going back in our javascript what we would be doing is uh, first we would be getting uh, wiring this class so we would be using in at the rate wire and what to wire is get account info and uh, does it take some parameters guys no it does not take any parameters so related accounts related data and it gives me two things error and data and if my data is there i would be doing i would be creating a variable so uh, display table okay and many times you have used seen that some people use at the rate track but uh, what is the funda here is guys by default uh, everything is at the rate track only so you haven't do not have to explicitly specify the track variable uh, you could just go by the simple way and uh, till now i haven't used uh, track many times i have just uh, demonstrated you one or two times only so this dot oops so this dot uh, display 
table would be data if we have an error so uh, this console.log okay so our uh, this thing is complete the GS part has been completed and in the data section as I told you we uh, placed our data display table that we are getting from give me a second yeah that we are getting from if data and now I think I should um, close this class and uh, now uh, we are left with the columns so what should be the columns see we could specify columns in here or we could specify a constant column in here okay like const columns is equal to and now this is an array array of objects and what is to be placed in this object is see we are getting account related data so the columns would be obviously of account only so uh, it takes some parameters like the label okay and what would be the label is uh, in, it is in the uh, key value format so i would be putting account name and where these labels are coming from these are coming from this data why this data because we have wired this and um, the things that we have queried in that data we could only use those fields okay label is your account name and what is the field name field name that that you could uh, relate to is your the api name so account name is name and uh, this is one column and what, what should be the second column i remember that we have uh, name type phone website so we could use label uh, phone number and the field name is your phone okay so we use the field name uh, see if like uh, uh, you are using a currency value so you could uh, use also the type field as well uh, the type checkbox like the type type would be phone what this uh, deals is like if you are having currency so it uses a dollar symbol and something of that sort so that uh, you could use with this and for this you could use type as text okay and uh, I hope we are good with this deploying our source to org and see by default I hope now we are exposing this so this should be true and app page record page and home page by default going back so see till now we have learnt various concepts uh, and uh, dragging over to our uh, component main component uh, so lightning data table so see yes we are having our data table but uh, there is no data till now see we haven't got, got any data and why this data has not been received mm, because uh, in the columns we haven't added any columns okay So uh, guys let us put these columns inside and then deploy our source to org. So yeah. See guys uh, see and we are heading the account name and the phone number that we wrote as text fields and these are the list of accounts that we got and see we could check these all uh, we could uncheck these all so uh, um, in the further coming videos we would be having various operations over these items um, but for today like if uh, we want that if someone does not want these checkboxes in here so what they could do is uh, going to a lightning data table uh, there is a um, 
thing to hide this hide checkbox dash columns so yeah we could hide the checkbox columns as well they should be hidden now so it is hide checkbox column not columns sorry going back refreshing this so our checkbox columns have been uh, removed so see so this is your simple data table where your data is coming and in here it provides two basic operations wrap and click te clip text so if you wrap this uh, it displays like this if you clip this it displays like this so what is the difference so let me tell you see it has been clipping of the text if you do a wrap text so it would be coming in the next line so the, that is the meaning of the both and see in here uh, some space have been left out so um, this is how your lightning data table works and uh, in order to give you a cold review how this all worked is uh, so what we did is we imported our account data from our apex class and we wired that data and we got the result in your data and that data was display table and through that display table we uh, added it into our data of lightning data table for the column section as you saw that columns weren't coming uh, if we uh, don't add this so uh, for these columns we added these columns in here and this hide checkbox is if we want do not want the checkboxes to be shown so we made use of hide checkboxes so uh, that was all related to your data table uh, i want you all to digest this for today and um, in the further coming videos i want uh, i would be uh, putting more operations and well as some assignments for you all to complete so uh, with this i hope you all understood this video and if there exists a certain amount of doubt uh, you could message me and uh, in in comments only so with this uh, i am ending this video and thanks for watching